This is Law for Community Workers, a podcast where we keep community workers up to date with legal topics and changes to the law. My name is Yasmin and I'm a content creator in the Community Legal Education team at Legal Aid New South Wales. In this special episode, I visit the Southwest Sydney Legal Fair, an event held on the streets of Cabramatta that showcases important legal services. We chat to different organisations about how they assist people and what community workers should know about their service. This episode was recorded on the land of the Cabrigal people of the Darug Nation. We pay our respects to elders past and present and acknowledge the education and storytelling that was pioneered on these lands for tens of thousands of years before us. Thank you both so much for chatting with me today. Could you please introduce yourselves and what you do? Yep, my name is Sydney. I'm part of the committee of the Vietnamese Australian Lawyers Association and I also work at the NDIS. My name is Janice Lee and I am also part of the committee of the Vietnamese Australian Lawyers Association mm. and I work in a local uh, law firm in Karamara. And the Vietnamese Australian Lawyers Association, what are some of the activities and programs or services that you run? So we provide um, community legal information sessions for the um, community and during the COVID we also have live streams of um, legal information sessions like now about family law, um, immigrations and we also have like will sessions for the elderly people as well and we did um, and we also do TPDs as well. Great and this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers find more information about the association? So you can reach us um, on our Facebook page. So that's VALA-Vietnamese Australian Lawyers Association or just by email at info at VALA-AU.org. And we are at the Southwest Sydney Legal Fair today. Why is it important for these events to happen in the community? It's important specifically in Southwest Sydney because we are so culturally diverse, um, obviously celebrating like all our different backgrounds and nationalities, um, that everyone has access to this information, it's particularly legal, legal services and to understand what legal rights they have. Um, so this opportunity today, um, and we're so grateful for everyone that came out, all the community, all the government and all the legal services and organisations um, coming out, providing free information and just having a presence in our community so that the public kind of knows what's out there um, and what services can help them and be directed in the right place if they do have any questions. Brilliant. And is there anything else that you want to add? No, we're just very grateful for everyone that's come out, especially Legal Aid for coming out with all their volunteers because I know everyone's here is a volunteer and giving up their Saturday to come out here. So we're very grateful. Coming up at 7am to help us set up um, in Cabramatta. So um, hopefully we'll see you guys next year. Hi, my name is Evrim. I'm the Community Engagement Lead for Energy and Water Ombudsman New South Wales. And what services do you provide? Um, so we provide dispute resolution service for all electricity and gas customers in New South Wales and some water customers. Uh, we can help residential customers and small businesses as well uh, with a range of issues. Um, usually we get um, complaints around the high and disputed bills, uh, debt and uh, disconnection, um, opening and closing accounts, that's the other one that we help with, and sometimes poor customer service that people are not really happy with and they call us and then we, we can actually uh, take their complaints and then we can take it from there, help them with those inquiries. Great, so this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers refer their clients to you? Sure, we get our referrals from uh, customers directly or the community workers as well as the small businesses. So the community workers, they can reach us directly from our phone number, which is 1800 246 545 or they can find some information on our website. They can also do an online uh, complaint, which is www.ewon.com.au. Fantastic. Is there anything else that you wanted to add about Ewon or the services that you provide? 
Sure. Um, the important thing is uh, for us to raise awareness about what services we do. And so community workers, play they play a very key role reaching out to the vulnerable communities. For the next year, we are aiming to reach out to uh, vulnerable communities, including uh, culturally, linguistically diverse uh, communities, people with disabilities, uh, seniors, only a few of them, or flood affected areas that we, we reach out and do a lot of outreach programs. So it's very important to um, you know have a good connection with the community workers and their understanding of how we work so we can reach out more people. With the cost of living, the prices of electricity prices going really high, it's very important important uh, for everyone to understand what services are available and our position uh, helping them because we're here to help. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And we'll put all the details of E1 in our show notes for this podcast episode. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, my name's Maria Kasuri. I'm the manager for Child, Youth and Family uh, in the Multicultural Child and Family Program at Settlement Services International. And Settlement Services International, what services do you provide? The biggest service um, within SSI is a settlement program and that has a, a national network of providers called SSI Group. So they are providing support services to people who are newly arrived to the country on the humanitarian um, settlement program. Uh, but there's also a whole range of other services, including services to people with disabilities um, and also to people who are job seekers. And our particular program is the Multicultural Child and Family Program. And we work with, uh, it's a multicultural foster care program. We work with families. We work with children to place them in homes where they're in a situation where their family um, can't provide a safe and stable home for them. Fantastic. And this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers refer their clients to your service? So mo all of our referrals actually come from the state government as um, uh, people who are who come into care um, come in through the statutory system. So that's where all of our referrals come from. But we, um, uh, we kind of operate uh, an, as a community education model, which means that we bring community in so that children in our care and carers have the opportunity for community to lean in and to support them in their important caring role. Great, and we're at the South West Sydney Legal Fair today. Why is it important that SSI is here today and what is the main message that you're giving to people today? Yeah, well most people don't realise that uh, there are children who need uh, foster care placements right now. Uh, there's an extreme shortage of foster carers at the moment and so we're really worried about um, you know some young children not being able to be uh, within their family or even community and so what we're here to do today is to promote the rewarding role that foster carers, foster carers play in the um, lifelong kind of development for children of their own identity their cultural background their spirituality their religious background um, and so what we're looking for is um, given this is such a beautiful multicultural location um, we're looking for people who represent all communities and all cultures all faiths and ethnicities to join our program to become foster carers really really important work and how can we find out more information so it's pretty easy you can just go to ssi.org.au forward slash foster care brilliant and I'll put all those details in the show notes thank you so so much for your time today thank you Yasmin so my name's Rachel, I am a solicitor within the Domestic Violence Unit and the DVU sits in the Family Law Division of Legal Aid. And what services does the DVU provide? So the DVU can help you if you've experienced domestic and family violence and have a legal problem. Um, we can help with problems like getting an AVO or advice on conditions of an AVO or changing that AVO. We can help with advice about sorting out arrangements for children, um, sorting out property after you separate, getting a divorce, um, assistance with getting victim support and lots of other legal problems you might have because you've experienced family violence. Fantastic. And what's something that people may not know about the DVU? Something that people might not know about DVU is that we have a specific clinic that we run for women who've experienced 
uh, family and domestic violence who are on temporary visas to give some some advice about that situation but to also make sure that they're linked in with the appropriate services and supports um, that they might need around those issues. And this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers refer their clients to the DVU at Legal Aid? So the easiest thing to do is either to give us a call and the number is 1800 979 529 or you can also send us an email at domesticviolenceunit at legalaid.nsw.gov.au and include all of the information about your client's legal problem and how we can best get in contact with them to book them in for an appointment for some advice. Fantastic. And we'll put all those details in the show notes for this episode. Is there anything else that you wanted to add or want people or community workers to know? I think the most important thing is that knowledge is power for our clients. Even if you think maybe a client um, doesn't need advice or the client hasn't said that they need any legal advice, putting them in touch and linking them in with a lawyer um, might open up discussions about topics and issues that they hadn't considered before. So always keep us in mind when you're assisting your clients. Excellent. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. No worries. Have a great afternoon. Hello, my name's Kate Timms and I'm a solicitor with the Child Support Service of Legal Aid New South Wales. And the Child Support Service, what do you do? Okay, well the Child Support Service is a statewide service. We're located in Parramatta but we deal with clients from all over the state and we provide advice about child support. Um, That's about financial support for your children. Um, We do a lot of work with... um, parents who have difficulty providing proof of parentage in order to get a child support assessment. We um, help a lot of clients or we act for a lot of clients in court proceedings to get um, declarations from the court that um, the other parent is the parent of the child. So that's a lot of the work we do. But we provide advice and um, and legal assistance on a range of other child support issues. We can sometimes act for people who think they're not the father of the child if they've um, if that's happened. Um, Any issues relating to child support, for example, you might have an assessment and you're not getting child support collected, or the assessment might be less than you think it should be. We can give you advice about what you might be able to do in those circumstances. And, And any court proceedings you've got about child support, any issues about child support agreements, the whole range of issues under the child support legislation already things that I didn't even know about. What's something you think you'd want want people to know about the Child Support Service? Um, One of the important things you should know if you're a Centrelink client is that sometimes you, you won't get the money that you should be getting to support your kids if you don't have proof of parentage, if you haven't been able to get child support from the other parent. And so if you've got a problem with Centrelink in that regard, then we're the people who can help you. Great. And this this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers refer their clients to your service? Yeah. Okay, well our telephone number is 02963399916 in the Sydney metropolitan area and we've got a 1800 number for outside of Sydney 1800451784. Anything to do with child support, they should send them to us because it's a complicated area. Great. And community workers can call on behalf of their clients? The best thing to do is to call us and arrange a telephone appointment for your client. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah. We wouldn't really be able to give legal advice no, to not, community not work. To yeah. Them. Yeah. We'd need to talk to the client. Hi, I'm Dean Fernandez. I'm the solicitor in charge of Sutherland Legal Aid. I'm a criminal lawyer. Hi, I'm Carol. I am a solicitor at Legal Aid Bankstown. So Bankstown and Sutherland solicitors, what issues or matters do you help people with in the community? Um, We help people with uh, what In my role as a criminal solicitor and as Dean's role as a criminal solicitor, we help people with their criminal matters. So um, when people have been charged um, by the police, um, we generally do matters involving, for example, assaults, um, drugs, 
um, some driving or traffic matters, um, and also some more serious matters such as um, offences relating to sex or uh, supply, drugs. Um, yeah. Our criminal lawyers basically do all crime, uh, legal aid, and so uh, it, it just depends on which court you're in, local court or district court, supreme court, um, but we do it all. And this podcast is for community workers, for community workers who may work um, with clients who do have criminal matters. How can they, you know, get in touch with you or how can they be referred to you? Law Access New South Wales is the best number to call. Their number is 1300 529. Fantastic. And we are at the South West Sydney Legal Fair today. Why is it important for the criminal law team of Legal Aid New South Wales to be out here today? Um, one of the reasons why um, I think it's really important that we're out in the community is because our role is essentially to serve our community and be there for our community. And so the community basically needs to know that we exist, that we're accessible, that we're friendly, and they just really need to know how they can find us. Um, and so I think it's important that we're here because we're showing our face and we want to show to our community that we're available to help them and provide them information with um, how they can reach us. Brilliant. And if there's one thing you'd want to leave people with today at the fair, even on the podcast, what would be the one message? I'd say Legal Aid is there, or Legal Aid New South Wales is here to really provide access to justice. And being part of the community is part of it. I think Legal Aid, uh, we can't just rest on our laurels to be the, the organisation that people think they know. We have to be out in the community to um, engage, right? So I think uh, and this is important for them, the community to know that we will help them, right? And give them, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Thank you. Hi, um, my name's Katie and I'm uh, in a non-legal position at Legal Aid, so I'm in a social worker position at Bankstown um, and I work in family law. I didn't even know that Legal Aid had social workers. What um, services do you provide? Yeah, that's a great question and a common response. Um, so Legal Aid have a team of social workers and caseworkers, and I guess the point of our service is to support clients um, experiencing complex legal and social issues as well. There's certainly a growing acknowledgement and understanding that legal issues are exacerbated by people's personal and social circumstances, so we really want to try and address both, both those issues together and to improve their legal outcomes. And so we could work alongside criminal lawyers, family lawyers, um, maybe now child, children's civil law team uh, to support our clients so the yeah, best, best way we can. Well, a real holistic approach. Um, and family law, that just seems like there are so many matters and so many different things that could come under that. What, what are some of the matters and issues that come under family law? Mm. Um, so some of the things that our family law solicitors support our community with are parenting matters. So that could be mediations, litigation around um, children. So who the children live with, how much time they spend with the, each parent, um, property, property settlements, um, divorce in sort of you know exceptional circumstances. And we also support uh, people going through the care and protection system, which is families that have been, uh, I guess, assisted by DCJ, which is Department of Communities of Justice, or formerly known as DOCS or FACS. Great. And this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers refer their clients with family law issues to Legal Aid New South Wales? Um, you probably heard it before, but I'll say it again. Law access is the hotline to call. Uh, you can also go to local legal aid offices as well um, and go to court. But really the best way is just to call that number and then you'll be triaged into yeah, the, right, the right legal aid office. What is something that people may not know about family law or your services? Hmm. Um, 
One thing that I'm really proud of about working at Legal Aid and what I've really learned since being at Legal Aid, especially coming from you know a casework position, is the solicitors here are really well trained in domestic and family violence and they are really committed to children's safety and the safety for people that have experienced violence. So the way that they work with clients and work with courts is really through a trauma-informed approach. So I know I'm using a little bit of that non-legal terminology now. But it's, it really is an incredible service. So you'll feel safe, you feel supported and assisted through legal aid. So maybe you know about that, but if you don't, it really, it really has been my experience working here. Uh, my name's Jenny and I'm the Director of Family Law and Relationship Services with Catholic Care Sydney. And what services does Catholic Care Sydney provide? Catholic Care Sydney has a huge range of services. Um, the part of the, the agency that I'm with is around family law services, so that includes the Family Relationship Centre at Bankstown, Family Dispute Resolution Services across the um, inner west um, city and southwest. We also have counselling for to do with family law, but just general counselling as well. Parent education groups for children, men's behaviour change services out at our Fairfield office. So there are a lot of the family and relationship services that I'm involved with, but beyond that, Catholic Care Sydney is a big organisation that has a lot of aged care and disability services and also provides school counsellors in Catholic schools and a whole lot more. Is there something that people don't know about Catholic Care? Well, if, if I think about the area of Catholic care that I work with, which is mediation or family dispute resolution, we were one of the first organisations in Australia to start using family mediation way back in the 80s when it wasn't really a known option for people to stay out of family court and try and work out their own decisions about their children or their property and financial settlements. So we're really proud to have that legacy that we were part of a, a small group of um, providers that really developed that model here in Australia and of course it's very widely used now um, in legal settings and in, and in the community sector as well. That's great and we are at the Southwest Legal Fair today and there's a lot of different information and different services. Why is it important um, for you, do you feel that you're here today and that these events like this happen? It's really important for people to get to know about our services, particularly um, in terms of family separation. That can come as a huge shock to family members and to the people involved. And it's really hard to navigate the family law system. People don't know what they need to know or, or who to seek help from. We want to support children and, and parents and other family members. So if we can get out amongst the community and here with legal aid and other services, it's a really good way just to um, be visible so that if people need us, they at least know where to look and, and know that there's help for them wherever they come from. We have a big footprint in southwest Sydney um, and love working here. It's such a great diverse community. And this podcast is for community workers. How can community workers refer their clients to you? Really easy. We have a central number, which is 13 18 19. That's our care line number. And if you call that number and just say, no matter how vague it might be <laughs> your request, I want to refer someone for counselling or for separation services or for parent education groups, the care line team will be able to link you with the right team that can help you with your inquiry or your referral. Fantastic. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. It's a pleasure, Yasmin, and uh, yeah, hope to hear from some community workers um, and be able to help you with your, your clients. Thanks. That's all for us today on this special edition of Law for Community Workers. If you are interested in the South West Legal Fair, do get in contact with us at cle at legalaid.nsw.gov.au and we'll give you more information about when the next one is and how you can get involved.